you know, YouTube. So, it occurred to me after I did the test with the deep fryer, that I didn't really go deep enough into uh, the temperature that this is actually getting to now. It does say it has thermal battery overload short and earth fault protection. So, as you can see, we have the temp gun locked on it. I'm about to go and plug in, first of all, the uh, 16, 1700 watt urn. And then we'll see if we can run the deep fryer at the same time. And well, you guys watch the temperature go. Right, there's your answer, it can't run the uh, deep fryer and the urn at the same time. We'll just go deep fryer then. See what the temperature does. So I'll try and sneak the uh, urn in. I might try and turn it off and turn both on like we were with the welder. <coughs> Ran both for a few seconds. Righto, back to just deep fryer. About 2100 watts a load. And I can watch the temperature gun climbing. Thirty degrees Celsius already. All right, I'll give this five minutes and uh, I'll see if it gets up to temp. Once it gets up to temp, I'll uh, come back to the temp gun for you. All right, so I've just got the temperature and it hit fifty-five. I think. Um, I think again. Turn the tree roller off. There you go, max 55. So it hit 55 in its heat up cycle. So it's probably not that bad, 55. I could hardly touch it the other day. Struggling to think of a load that I can put on it that will do more than. More like a three kilowatt load. I don't think I've got anything. I may have to use like a hot water cylinder element or something. That that that's up to heat right now. I'll go and turn the um, urn on instead and leave that boiling and see if the temperature builds up any higher. All right, so I've got about a 1650-ish watt load on it constantly at the moment. Still registering 12 volts on the input side. It's only getting to about 43 degrees at the hottest point. So whether it was just 
really struggling for voltage. Incoming voltage the other day when I did the test. Maybe the case. The uh, incoming voltage might have just been too low and that was uh, making it work. I've connected a couple of extra batteries up just with jumper cables at the moment to uh, make sure it's got plenty of voltage to the machine and it's still got 12 volts, 12.1 volts right at the uh, right at the blue sealed that acid there and none of the cables are even hot so uh, I don't think I can actually pull enough load to make it thermally overload so we can't really test whether it has one or not uh, earth leakage it does have and uh, like a surging kind of thing it definitely has because the inrush currents pop it out all the time but so I don't know whether it's just because it's 12 degrees outside it was quite happy at 42 and whether if it was 40 degrees outside it would be 80 degrees in the inverter I'm not sure I did remember when we first had this apart that just had little thermal pads between the chipsets and the aluminium so whether that'd be better with something like a thermal grease or whatever I'm not 100% sure anyway It's still an alright cheap inverter. It hasn't blown up yet. We've done a few more nasty things to it, like we just heated up the uh, deep fryer from Stone Cold. Got three and a half litres of water out there almost at the boil now. It's still going. So, uh, other than the, in the event of like a fan failure, I don't think it would have any issues. The fans do really rip the air through the machine. Um, so yeah link to buy one of these is in the top of the video description I do get a little kickback uh, if you buy one it's an affiliated code from banggood.com and uh, well it's still good for some stuff I might um, see how we go for daylight tomorrow afternoon and I might drag out some power tools like grinders and got jig what have I got there jigsaws, sanders, die grinders Angle grinders. Uh, I've got a cord uh, plug-in 240 volt whipper snipper. Um, nine inch circular saw. Nine and a quarter inch or nine and a half inch or whatever they are. Bloody big circular saw. We might just uh, run this yellow lead out and try and run a few things off it I guess. That's that's where I'm at right now YouTube. Thanks heaps for watching tonight. Um, this inverter is still doing what it's meant to do, surprisingly, and it's still doing it all right. So, uh, shut her down. We'll see if she survives another day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. We'll be up here. New videos up there. Hope you like the new intro. Thanks to Clinton from Wonderlust Drones. Catch you in the next video, guys.